There's nothing like settling down with a box of goodies and a good book. <laughs> Isn't it bad enough doing that outside without doing it in here, too? We just stymed his reading of Mother Goose. Give me my book. Hey, guys, how about us paying these Mother Goose characters a frightful visit? A ghoul idea. Thanks for the inspiration, Casper. I've got to go to Mother Goose Land and see what I can do. Mother Gooseland. Good folks, welcome. <laughs> Golly, sounds like someone's in trouble. Uh, I'm Casper, the, the friendly, friendly ghost. ghost. Can I help you? I'm little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. Three horrid ghosts scared them away. I should have known. <laughs> That's little boy Blue. The ghost opened the gate and let out his sheep and cow. Listen, it's coming from the top of the hill. Why, it's Jack and Jill. Gosh, we're sorry it got splashed. Oh, that's all right. What happened? Three ghosts scared us by the well. Yes, mean ghosts. Yow. Uh-oh, sounds like more trouble. Bye now. Why, it's Jack Be Nimble. What happened, Jack? Well, just as I was going to jump over the candlestick well I know the rest. Those bad ghosts booed you. I'll say they booed me. I never jumped so high before. And when I came down, I tore my pants on the candlestick handle. Gosh. Do you know someone who could sew you up? Sure. A girlfriend of mine. Let's go see her now. Okay, let's. Boy, am I mad. Little Miss Muffet, we were just coming over to visit you. Visit me? I've been visited already. Three horrible ghosts scared me off my tuffet and then stole my curds and whey. I'm furious. Curds and whey? What's that? Oh, just some milky water and cheese. <gasps> this stuff ain't very filling. Well, we got it for nothing. What's next on the scare program? We gotta find someone to scare soon, or we're gonna lose our ability. Characters of Mother Goose Land, I've called you all together to hear Casper's plan. My friends, this is my plan. If you all try your best not to appear scared when the ghostly trio come to scare you, they may give up and go home. Sounds good. We'll try it. It might work. I just hope they don't come to me. I might get awfully scared. Land sakes. Me too. Now how can we scan? Hey, look, the black mouse. <laughs> scared the clock and the mouse couldn't be wider. No, sorry, Casper. I wasn't the least bit scared. Well, they won't scare me. <laughs> they scared the wall away. We're not getting anywhere, Mother Goose. I know, Casper. If you don't think of something to drive away those ghosts, I just don't know what we'll do. I have another idea, but I must get a friend to help us. Don't be away long. Wendy, I need your help in Mother Goose Land. The ghostly trio are raising mischief there. But what can I do, Casper? Use your magic powers. I learned once the ghosts are afraid of giants. This is Wendy, a good little witch girl. May she borrow your goose to make a little switch? Of course she may. A switch? Boop. Abracadabra, half a quart is a pint. But now I'll change a goose into a big friendly giant. At your service, Wendy. This is gonna be our biggest scare. Huh. Howdy, fellas. A giant! A lake! There's no boat here! Only this old tub! The tub has a hole in it! How stupid can we get? We forgot we can fly! Come back and visit us!
us soon. Thank you, Casper and Wendy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for your autographed book of Mother Goose stories. Bye! Thank you. 
around here. Now get out and scare people. Gosh, I don't want to scare anybody. I want to be friendly. Good morning, Mr. Bull. out for that wicked old wolf. go 
home. Three pigs! but grew up and started to act like a real ghost. Those witches said their brew would take effect immediately. So long, pal. I'll see you tomorrow. Hurry up and mix that brew in Casper's milk. He's coming. <laughs> You've grown. I, I just don't know what happened. Casper, at last you're a man like us. Think of what he could do on a scale rank. Casper, how about a sample of your vocal strength? Or perhaps a little boo? If you don't mind, I'll give out with a small hello. Hello! Well, at least the roof is still standing. Golly, I wonder what happened to Casper. He's holding up the roof. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what I could do. Either he joins us in our scare raid or out he goes. Let's not get him violent or he'll throw us out. Oh, well, where are you going, Casper? To look for a friend. Haven't you outgrown that? You can never outgrow friendship. Say, that sure is a fine-looking snowman. He should be. It took us three days to build him. Say, you're a... Uh, uh, now, wait. Don't be frightened. A giant ghost! Gosh, this is terrible. Even the children run from me. There's Wendy, the poor little witch girl. Big or small, she'll always be my friend. But the shock of seeing me this big might frighten her. I've got it. I'll let her see me in easy stages. Hello, Wendy. Who said that? Down here, it's me, Casper. Ah! Casper! You know better than to frighten me like that. But I did this so you wouldn't be frightened. Now stop acting like a silly boy. Go up, Casper. Okay, Wendy, but now, just what do you mean by not wanting to scare me? <laughs> Not knocking, but did I hear my name mentioned? 
Now, what was it you were saying? Uh, well, 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 we were just telling Wendy what a mean trick the ghost played on you. And we were just giving Wendy this brew to make you small again. Well, Wendy, take a last look at Casper the Giant Ghost. Casper, before you take that reducing potion, why don't you teach the other ghosts a good lesson? But how? Just listen to me. Oh, ah, here comes our wandering black sheep. <laughs> he sure looks unspirited. Well, what's wrong, Casper? You look like you haven't a friend in a while. Perhaps you're right. Don't worry. Now that you're one of us, you'll really have fun. You said it. Let's start having fun right away. That's the spirit. Let's practice boos and screeches. Uh, right here? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, you remember what happened last time? Uh, let's all go outside. Uh, okay, Casper. As a starter, give us a boo. Teach them a good lesson. I think we created a monster. Now I'll practice a screech. Uh, wait, Casper, wait. <gasps> let's get out of here before he shatters our sheets. Wait, Casper, wait! Please, Casper, no more boos and screeches. We have a confession to make. The witches gave us this brew which made you big. I'm beginning to like being big, thanks to you and the witches. Tell the witches to give you an antidote. We don't like you big. It's too shocking. Okay, Wendy, here goes the antidote. I don't need any magic to make me big, Wendy. When I'm with you, I always feel ten feet tall. <laughs> 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 <laughs>